unit in Wellington Hospital, I could barely recognize him. His face was swollen, tubes everywhere. He was surrounded by technology, beeping and huffing. Technology that was supporting my father's vital organs, keeping him alive. The most common way that we lose patients from the intensive care unit is multiple organ failure, or MOF. The organs fail in sequence. First, the lungs, then the kidneys, then your heart, liver, gut. And all we can do is merely support those organs. The best, despite our best effort, 30 to 50% of patients with MOF still die. Why? Because there are no specific treatments for MOF, ones that are targeted at the critical cellular events, at the root cause of MOF. Fick, in 2002, proposed the concept of cytopathic hypoxia. He pointed out that the problem is not the delivery of oxygen and fuels to these cells. The problem was that the cells were not able to use the oxygen and fuels because their mitochondria were not working. So my father's vital organs were failing because his mitochondria were sick. But before we can treat the sick mitochondria, we first need to diagnose the sick mitochondria. The problem is we can't access mitochondria from vital organs unless we biopsy them. And that would add insult to injury. So what we needed was a marker of mitochondrial function, a, mitochond a marker that would reflect the mitochondria from these vital organs, but be easily obtained. So my research was measuring mitochondrial function from white blood cells. First, I measured oxygen uptake and energy production in these cells. Then I developed an assay from a small volume of blood. Second, I used this assay at different severity of MOF, like in this experiment, in, the, in a rat model of acute pancreatitis. Here, leak of oxygen per cell is being used as a measure of mitochondrial function you can see there is increased oxygen leak or progressive mitochondrial dysfunction with more severe MOF. Now, I've taken this assay from the bench to the bedside, back to the intensive care unit patients, to patients like my father, to see whether this assay can assess patients and diagnose MOF early and track it accurately. Now what we need is Treatments, the next step is treatments that can target mitochondria. So we're well on our way to diagnosing MOF, which is the biggest killer in intensive care units worldwide. Thank you.